This is the Biochem Surya Pocket Lecture on Coenzymes Part 3. In this video, we will discuss the last group of coenzymes, the transfer coenzymes. These are coenzymes that transfer groups to or from substrates. The members of this group are lipoic acid, tetrahydrofolic acid, and cobamide coenzyme. For each of the coenzymes, we will be looking into the chemistry, synthesis, and source, the specific active site of the coenzyme and its functions. We will also show sample reactions that they help catalyze. By the way, welcome to the Biochem Surya channel which aims to make the study of biochemistry simpler, straight to the point and higher yielding via a rapid review format of presenting information. If you wish to see the second part of the discussion on coenzyme chemistry and the activation transfer coenzymes, kindly click on the card above. The first coenzyme in this group is lipoic acid. Lipoic acid, also known as alpha-lipoic acid, abbreviated as ILA, is an organosulfur compound derived from caprylic acid or octanoic acid. Chemically, it is named 6,8-dithyooctanoic acid or thioctic acid. It is synthesized in humans from octanoic acid and amino acid, lysine, and it does not require a vitamin precursor. As a cofactor, lipoic acid is covalently attached by an amide bond to a terminal lysine residue via the epsilon amino group of lysine as epsilon amino lipoyl lysine. As such, it acts as a prosthetic group and is covalently bound to a lysine residue of the enzyme, and it is then referred to as lipoamide. It exists in two forms, the cyclic or oxidized and the open chain or reduced form. This intramolecular disulfide bond functions as a redox active structure. As a result of reduction, it is converted into the corresponding dithiol. For its active site, lipoic acid contains a disulfide group that accepts electrons. This sulfur group accepts and transfers acyl groups and hydrogen ions during oxidative decarboxylation of alpha-keto acids. Lipoic acid is a cofactor for at least five enzyme systems. Lipoylated enzymes have lipoic acid attached to them covalently. The lipoyl group transfers a sealed groups in alpha-keto acid dehydrogenase complexes. Alpha-keto acid dehydrogenases transfer reactions occur by a similar mechanism in pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, alpha-ketaglutarate dehydrogenase, branch-chain alpha-keto acid dehydrogenase complex, and the acetoin dehydrogenase complex. One of the most studied roles of lipoic acid is as a cofactor of the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. In the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, lipoic acid acts like a long, flexible CH2 arm of the enzyme that reaches over to the decarboxylase to pick up the acyl fragment from thiamine and transfer it to the active site containing bound coash. It then swings over to dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase to transfer electrons from the lipoyl sulfhydryl groups to FOD. The second coenzyme in the group is tetrahydrofolic acid. Tetrahydrofolic acid is a cofactor in many reactions, especially in the synthesis of amino acids and nucleic acids. It has three major structural components, a bicyclic pteridine ring, para-aminobenzoic acid, and a polyglutamate tail consisting of several glutamate residues joined in an amide linkage. The one carbon group that is accepted by the coenzyme and then transferred to another compound is bound to N5, to N10, or both. These are the active sites of tetrahydrofolic acid. The N5 of the Terran ring and N10 of Pava, which have highly available lone electron pairs for attachment of one carbon groups. Folate is reduced to dihydrofolate and then to tetrahydrofolic by dihydrofolate reductase present in cells. Reduction is the favored direction of the reaction. Therefore, most of the folate present in the body is present as the reduced coenzyme form. FH4. Different forms of folate may differ in the oxidation state of the one carbon group in the number of glutamate residues attached, or in the degree of oxidation of the pteridine ring. When the term folate or folic acid is applied to a specific chemical form, it is the most oxidized form of the pteridine ring. The one carbon groups transferred by FH4 are attached either to N5 or N10, or they form a bridge between N5 and N10. The one carbon group transferred are methyl, methylene, methanyl, formal, and formimino. The collection of one carbon groups attached to FH4 is known as the one carbon pool. While they are attached to FH4, these one carbon units can be oxidized and reduced. Thus, reactions that require a carbon in a particular oxidation state may use carbon from the one carbon pool that was donated in a different oxidation state. The individual steps for reduction of the one carbon group are shown here. The most oxidized form is N10 formal FH4. The most reduced form, on the other hand, is N5-methyl FH4. Once the methyl group is formed, it is not readily reoxidized back to N5 and 10 methylene FH4, and thus N5-methyl FH4 tends to accumulate in the cell. 
Example of the reactions that tetrahydrofolic acid helps to catalyze are serine hydroxymethyl transferase, thymidylate synthase, and formal transferase. As shown here, thymidylate synthase is an enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of deoxyuridine monophosphate to deoxythymidine monophosphate. Thymidine is one of the nucleotides in DNA. Thus, this enzyme is essential for regulating the balance supply of one of the DNA precursors in normal DNA replication. Here we can see that tetrahydrofolate helped in the transfer of a one-carbon group that converted the pyrimidine uracil to thymine. The last of the transfer coenzymes is vitamin B12, also known as cobamide coenzyme. Vitamin B12 or cobalamin is a water-soluble vitamin involved in metabolism. One of the B vitamins, it is a cofactor in DNA synthesis and in both fatty acid and amino acid metabolism. The structure of cobamide coenzyme is complex. It contains a corin ring, which is similar to the porphyrin ring found in heme. The corin ring differs from heme, however, in that two of the four pyrrole rings are joined directly rather than by a methylene bridge. Its most unusual feature is the presence of cobalt, coordinated with the corin ring, similar to the iron coordinated with the porphyrin ring found in heme. This cobalt can form a bond with a carbon atom. In the body, it reacts with the carbon of a metal group, forming metal cobalamin, or with the 5' carbon of 5' deoxyadenosine, forming 5' deoxyadenosyl cobalamin. The sixth ligand for the metal ion cobalt is the nitrogen from dimethylbenzimidazole. To date, vitamin B12 is involved in only two reactions in the body, the transfer of a metal group from N5-methyl-FH4 to homocysteine to form methionine, and the rearrangement of L-methylmalonyl-CoA to form succinyl coa The first reaction, that of the homocysteine methionine methyl transferase or simply known as methionine synthase, involves FH4 receiving a one-carbon group from serine or from other sources. This carbon is reduced to the methyl level and transferred to vitamin B12, forming methyl B12 or methylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin transfers the methyl group to homocysteine, which is converted to methionine by the enzyme methionine synthase. Methionine can then be activated to s adenosylmethionine to transfer the methyl group to other compounds. The second reaction is catalyzed by methylmalonyl-CoA metase. Vitamin B12 also participates in the conversion of L-methylmalonyl-CoA to succinyl-CoA. In this case, the active form of the coenzyme is 5' deoxyadenosylcobalamin. This reaction is part of the metabolic route for the conversion of carbons from valine, isoleucine, threonine, and the last three carbons of odd-chain fatty acids, all of which form propionyl CoA to the tricarboxylic acid cycle intermediate succinyl CoA. This ends this video on the discussion of the three transfer coenzymes. Thank you for watching the third part of the video series on the chemistry of coenzymes. Please click on the card above to check out the playlist on the chemistry of coenzymes to see all the lecture videos on this topic. If this video helped you in one way or the other, please help this channel reach a lot more students by clicking on the like button, subscribing, and sharing this video. Again, thank you very much.